Good evening. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh, please let the record reflect that uh, all board members, with the exception of Ms. LaRosso, Mr. Brady, and Ms. Rosado, are present. Any announcements? Okay. Any members of the public wishing to speak on an agenda? Thank you. Can I have a motion for the approval of minutes as contained in your back? So moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Recognition. Thirds. Good evening. Could I invite Dr. Bridgman and Dr. Markwood down to join Mr. Gala and myself? So this month, we honor the dedicated service of our administrative team, our principals, directors, assistant principals, and coordinators. This is my fifth opportunity as superintendent to recognize the members of WIASA, the West Islip Association of School Administrators. Over these five years, we've explored many opportunities together, and we've met many challenges despite the complexity of the work. Tonight, I'd like to take this occasion to thank you, all of you, for your extraordinary leadership and passion and applaud your commitment to children. You have a tremendous responsibility that comes with choosing to be stewards of our schools, and it is respected and appreciated. So, on behalf of the Board of Education and the community, I would ask Mr. Geller to present Dr. Bridgman and Dr. Markwood, Dr. Markwood with uh, this certificate in recognition of the dedicated service to our students, faculty, staff, and community. So thank you. What am I taking a picture? Oh, Joanne's not here. Oh, Gina, is that you, Gina? I can't see it with my glasses. Oh, it's Lynch. You I can't see it. I told me to take a picture. <laughs> Good. Take a picture. <laughs> This is Markwood and Bridgman. You might need to go back. Did you get it? Okay. Would you send that to us, Gene? Yes, I'll send it to you. Absolutely. Thank you both. Take the picture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
tonight, it also gives me great pleasure to recommend tenure for Michael Giacchetto, Assistant Principal, effective December 1st, 2017. To quote Dr. Markwood's administrative report on tenure, Mr. Giacchetto has laid a solid foundation while at Udall. He has been a quality addition to the Udall Road Middle School and the community. I couldn't agree more. I have a motion for the approval of the tenure appointment of Michael Giacchetto, Assistant Principal, effective December 1st, 2017. So Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries and congratulations. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 
Madam motion to the approval of the substitute teachers as listed in your backup. Approved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And ma'am, motion for the approval of the substitute teaching assistants as listed in your backup. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Burns. And not the ruling curriculum. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. So this Tuesday, we had our superintendent's um, conference day. We offered a number of professional development opportunities to um, not only our teachers, but our teaching assistants and, and aides. The focus at the elementary level was on digital resources for intervention, research, social emotional learning, the new next generation ELA and math standards, as well as emergency response training. The middle and high school faculty participated in a variety of activities from skills evaluation, cultural awareness, argument-driven inquiry, transitions, and developing authentic assessments. And some of our departments had specialized with regional associations and they were out of district at, um, workshops as well. Now, as reported last month, we have begun the process for our one-to-one -one deployment of Chromebooks for our students in Beach Street and New Dole Road Middle Schools. This Monday, we successfully moved to a wireless platform in both schools. And yesterday, our sixth graders received their Chromebook to take home to charge and bring in ready to learn today. I have to tell you, uh, I got to see a few of the students as they were receiving their Chromebooks, and it was like their birthdays times uh, 100. It, they were just so excited about having this device for them uh, and learning in the Google environment. And today was no exception. The kids came in ready to learn, and they were ready to use their Chromebook, and the teachers were ready to uh, use the SAMR model in redefining how we use technology for instructional purposes. Students, before they receive their Chromebook, um, they do go through instruction on digital literacy, such as the appropriate uses of technology, social media, digital databases, virtual collaboration, as well as citizenship, which delves into the rights and responsibilities of cyberbullying, the legality of online materials, digital footprints, privacy, and safety. And the, the teachers are now being in the process of being trained on the use of GoGuardian, which is a resource that allows teachers to closely monitor student utilization of the Chromebooks in their classroom. And then recently, we had the high school launch a news production uh, through their collaboration between video production and public speaking classes. Through the efforts of Ron Weber, an engineering technology teacher, and Tina Schaefer, our public, uh, English teacher, uh, for the public speaking course, the students developed the West Islip High School Lions News, and they provided news segments and current events and announcements to the faculty and students at the high school. So the first production aired last week uh, on Friday and plans to eventually become a weekly broadcast. So the students, I think, can best speak for themselves, so I'd like to share with you the video clip. Uh, I think you'll find it really exciting. Um, insightful, and it's interesting to see about what topics they chose to share with their classmates. So without any further ado. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, here. Okay, it's away. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to the West Islip High School Lions News for November 3rd, 2017. This broadcast is coming to you from our studios on the first floor of the high school. Attention to all GSA members. There will be a meeting in room 206 after school. We'll be filling the showcase with art, so bring a pencil and some artsy friends. New members are always welcome. Come on down to West Ice of Idol Friday, November 3rd at 7 p.m. Tickets will be sold by West Ice of Idol participants, class of 2019 members, and at the door for a price of $10. We hope to see you all there. Trick or treat. The class of 2018 is celebrating Halloween this year by selling boo bags for $5 each. Send your friends or your teachers a trick or treat this year. Please go to the downstairs library, the main office, guidance, or see a class officer to purchase one. Happy Halloween. West Islip students with heart are collecting peanut butter and jelly, brown paper lunch bags,
juice boxes and snack items for their PB and J gang to set gang set to take place on November 18th in the city. All items donated can be left in room 298 or by the attendance window. Last day to drop off is November 15th. The lunches will be made on the 16th of November. Today is a blue day. Have a really great day. Many Americans celebrate Halloween every year by dressing up in costumes and going from house to house, knocking on doors, and calling out trick or treat, hoping to have their bags filled with candy. Traditions of trick or treat began in the Middle Ages, when children and sometimes poor adults would dress up in costumes and go around door to door begging for food or money in exchange for songs and prayers. Halloween evolved from All Hallows Eve. It originated from the pagan holiday honoring the dead. Halloween 2017 just passed, so I hope everyone had a lit time. Daylight Savings Time. Most of the United States begins Daylight Savings Time at 2 a.m. on the second Sunday in March and reverts the standard time on the first Sunday in November, November 5th. In the United States, each time zone switches at a different time. In the European Union, summertime begins and ends at 1 a.m. The IT Rodman play acid or DNA contains the genetic makeup of every living organism. Most DNA molecules consist of two biopolymer strands coiled around each other to form a double helix sheet. Each strand of DNA is composed of four nitrogen containing nucleobases cytosine, guanine, adene, and thymine. Within eukaryotic cells, DNA is organized into long structures called chromosomes. During cell division, these chromosomes are duplicated in, uh, in the process of DNA replication, providing each cell with its own complete set of chromosomes. We are still in the process of DNA research, and with each second of research, we get closer and closer to treating and curing diseases like cancer and Alzheimer's. On Friday, night temperature will be 70 degrees and sunny, but there will be a showers in the afternoon. On Saturday, the high temperature will be 59 degrees and cloudy. On Sunday, Sunday it will be 59 degrees and chance of showers. Have a great day. also helped the students. He devised a teleprompter for them as well. So um, that was their first production. They put it all together. It was all their research, all their ideas, and uh, I think they did a great job. So that's it. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, Dr. Williams. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mitchell will uh, report on the meeting of the Finance Committee. Finance Committee. Finance Committee. Finance Committee met on November 7, 2017. Committee members present were Scott Brady, Ron McGinnis, and myself. Board members in attendance were Steve Gell and Kevin O'Connor. Administrators present were Bernadette Burns, Superintendent, Wendy Duffy, Assistant Superintendent of Business. Others present were June Mellon, Treasurer, Robert Pesella, Purchasing Agent, Pat Pompin, Internal Claims Order. The purpose of the meeting was to review warrants for the month and discussion of current and fiscal matters. The meeting report um, came to order at 726. Um, Treasurer's report, first was the school district funds for September 2017 and the extracurricular for June, July, and August, September 2017. They were presented and accepted by the committee. Next was the payroll summary report for September 2017. 
It was presented and accepted by the committee. Next came the financial statements for June and September 2017. Financial statements were for the period of 7-1-2016 to 6-30-2017. And then also 7-1-17 to 9-30-17 were presented. In the Internal Claims Audit Report, it was presented and accepted by the committee. The System Manager Audit Trail for October 2017 was presented and accepted by the committee. The Payroll Certification for 10-6-17 and 10-20-17 was presented and accepted by the committee. The Review of Warrants, the Finance Committee received the warrants. Review Board of Agenda Finance Items, we have the approval of budget transfers presented and accepted by the committee for submission to the board. We have the approval of surplus. We have transportation 2002 Chevy Sedan, number 405, plate number AG7486, bin number 2G1WF55K029359608. We have the approval of 2017 to 2018 set contracts. First was the Achieve Beyond Bilinguals, ACDS, ACLD, All About Kids, um, Mid Island Therapy Associates, the Anderson, Anderson Center for Autism, Ascent, Brookville Center of Children's Services, Building Blocks Development Preschool, Clearly School for the Deaf, Development Disabilities Incorporated, Hatchdorn Little Village School, Henry Viscardi School, Just Kids Early Ch Childhood Learning Center, Kids in Action of Long Island Incorporated, Leeway School, Metro Therapy, Mountain Lake Academy, New England Center for Children Incorporated, the New Inter Interdisciplinary School, the Nassau Suffolk Services for Autistic, Nysoc Incorporated in Suffolk, Opportunity Preschool, Suffolk County Department of Social Services. After that, we have the approval of contracts to the Comac Union Free School District for the fall of 2017 and 2018. Also for the approval of contracts to the Deer Park Union Free School District for 2016 to 2017. <coughs> And also the approval of contracts for the Deer Park Green Free School District for 2017 to 2018. Wendy Duffy reviewed with the committee the financial statement summary for June for June of 7-1-2016 to 6-30-2017. Meeting was adjourned at 7-44. Thank you. And Mr. O'Connor will discuss the meeting of the Education Committee. Thank you, Mr. Della. Good evening, everybody. The Education Committee met tonight early here at District Office. Committee members present were myself, Mr. Gella, Mrs. Burns, and Dr. Rulin. Other board members present was Mr. Mahalik, and the second half of the meeting, Mr. McGinnis. The committee reviewed the professional, professional development opportunities provided to faculty and staff on Superintendent's Day this past Tuesday. Uh, we had a chance to see the agenda, and certainly a uh, wide variety of offerings that were given. It was an impressive agenda that certainly looked like it kept everyone busy for the day. The committee next reviewed and approved the following course name changes and curriculum writing projects for 2018-19 school year. The new course names are English 12 All Revision, Media Literacy, Writing for College and Korea, Writing 114 Creative Nonfiction Writing a Super Course. Spanish, Italian, ASL 1 and B, Spanish for Conversation and Culture, Calculus, SAT Prep and Math, Video Production, Electricity, Electronics, Introduction to Automotive Technology, Technology 7, Technology 8, Review of Science Curriculum, Science 7, and Skills in Science Research. Next, the committee reviewed several proposals for a digital and structural upgrade to the planetarium. Proposals include improvements made to the dome, projector, lighting, and sound, as well as increased digital library, and this will be discussed further at future meetings. 
Lastly, the committee reviewed recommendations for graduation requirements uh, from the advisory committee. The advisory committee recommended the following. Seniors will carry a minimum course load of 6.5 credits plus PE and a scheduled lunch with sufficient credits to qualify for graduation. Seniors with parental permission to arrive late or leave early must also have good attendance history and must have a paid or unpaid work reason with some type of career connection, for example, a job coaching or an internship, etc. And community service revised to the expectation that all students will complete community service as a requirement for graduation. Students would be required to fulfill a certain amount of community service and or involvement with different activities equated to points. And this we look forward to receiving further updates from the advisory committee on this. And the meeting was adjourned at 7.55 p.m. Thank you, Mr. O'Connor. And Mr. Mitchell will discuss the meeting of the Buildings and Grounds Committee. Buildings and Grounds Committee Committee met on November, met on November 8, 2017. Time had started at 7.50 p.m. and the location was the district office board room. Members in attendance were Scott Brady, myself, Kevin O'Connor, um, Steve Geller, Ron McGinnis. Others in attendance were Bernadette Burns, Wendy Duffy, James Bossy, Gary Robinson of BBS, and Fred Sieber of BBS. Um, the committee information that was given to us was a first on the bond projects. Mr. Robinson and Mr. Sieber reviewed the completed scope of work from phase one, 2A, and 2B. Bids for bond projects in phase 2C, which is the Lexing Glazing District wide, and the classroom security lock sets at the high school were approved on October 13th. The committee discussed the updated SCD bid process, which would streamline the approval line. Mr. Robinson will attend the December committee meeting to provide revised plans for the security vestibules at the elementary buildings. Tenants, divine rhythms, as requested to air condition to the Westbrook cafeteria, which is used as an acro room. Before moving forward, the committee requested to the cost of the meter, the cafeteria, and any associated cost to the district to maintain the air conditions, which would be placed on the roof of, the, of Westbrook. Next online was cameras. Approximately 13 exterior cameras were recently added to the ground district-wide. The locations were selected based on security concerns and recent incidents. More exterior and interior cameras will be added throughout the school year. Next comes the Bayview Playground. The Bayview PTA has requested approval to donate funds to pay all costs associated with the installation of a Gaga pit on its playground. In the interest of fairness and equity district-wide, the board committee members have requested a little bit more information. And next was the Westbrook parking lot. The district is attempting to schedule asphalt paving of an area in the Westbrook parking lot, but the timing conflicts with tenants' needs. Projects may need to be delayed until late spring, early or early summer, or another less pressing time for the tenants. That concluded our meeting and it adjourned at 9 p.m. Thank you, Mr. Mitchell. Uh, Mr. McGinnis will discuss the meeting of the Committee on Special Ed, Preschool Special Ed. Thank you. The committee met this morning, November 9th, in district office. Uh, committee members present were myself, administrators present were Jean Dowling and uh, Superintendent Burns. The meeting began at approximately 8 a.m. As usual, we reviewed the CSE and CPSE recommendations and modifications uh, for the month, it was a light month, um, and all was in order. Uh, we did have some discussion on professional development and class sizes, and the meeting adjourned at approximately 8.30. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McGinnis. And Mr. O'Connor will discuss the meeting of the Policy Committee. Thank you. The Policy Committee on this past Tuesday, 11-7, uh, here at District Office. Committee members present were myself and Mr. Brady. Board members in attendance were Mr. Geller, Mr. McGinnis, and Mr. Mahalik. Administrators present were Mrs. Burns and Dr. Ruin. And the purpose of the meeting was to discuss revisions to various policies. The meeting was called to order at 7 p.m. This will be the first reading of the following policy updates that were reviewed and approved by the Policy Committee this past Tuesday. Policy 4212, District's Table of Organization. Policy 7213, 
the use and dissemination of test results and other educational materials, policy 7362, academic integrity, policy 7620, students with disabilities participating in school and district programs, and Mr. Geller, if you agree it's appropriate, I would recommend you entertain a motion to waive the second reading. Very well. Can I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Discussion? Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> motion carries. Thank you. Okay, and now can I have a motion to accept uh, the policy as presented? So moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And Mr. Horan will uh, discuss the uh, meeting of the Health and Wellness Committee. Good evening. Uh, our October Health and Wellness Meeting focused primarily on the logistics of uh, coordinating our first annual uh, West Iceland Color Run. Uh, today's Health and Wellness Meeting, this morning, we met was focused uh, on debriefing on that event. And I'm happy to say that the first annual West Iceland uh, Color Run uh, was a tremendous success with over 950 participants. Um, it was a great uh, community event, a um, affordable community event uh, that raised uh, some money for the Health and Wellness Committee. And I think everyone that participated had a great uh, time with the event. And uh, the Health and Wellness Committee uh, felt uh, the same. We're looking forward to. Uh, conducting the second annual color run next uh, fall. In addition, we started to discuss our upcoming newsletter that we coordinate every uh, January, February. Uh, traditional topics such as social media, uh, uh, social host, law, uh, texting and driving, um, and we are looking into uh, the challenges of adolescent mental health issues that uh, many of our um, students across the United States are starting to um, suffer from and see if we can come up with some type of strategies and uh, educational programs that will help uh, minimize that uh, moving forward in the future. Uh, in terms of new business, we discussed um, a presentation. We're going to look into a presentation called uh, Screen Agers, again, dealing with uh, social media and uh, mental health issues. Um, in addition, we recently partnered with the New York State Governor Safety Committee uh, they partnered actually with Section 11, and um, we are trying to minimize uh, uh, risk to students uh, regarding uh, driving and you know, being on the road. So we're trying to minimize texting and driving, uh, recommending uh, seatbelt, and obviously um, not drinking and driving. You'll probably see some of those posters around the high school that were recently uh, put up. And lastly, we are looking forward to our mindfulness training that's going to take place here in West Islip in April. We'll be meeting again on Tuesday, December 12th. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Horan. Okay, Mrs. Duffy, financial matters and business efforts. So, uh, Treasurer's report on balance in our accounts on August 31st was $46,359.33. And the balance in our accounts on September 30th was $41,152,786.69. Next item is budget transfers. I have a motion to approve budget transfer number 3435 through number 3438. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We have a motion to accept the surplus of the 2002 Chevy sedan. So moved. Okay. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? <coughs> motion carries. We have a motion to approve the following contracts. The 2017-2018 contract with Comac School District, 2016-2017 contract with Deer Park School District, and the 2017-18 contract with Deer Park. So moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We have a motion to accept uh, the contracts for the said cars for 1718. So moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Duffy. Can I have a motion to approve the settlement agreement dated November 3rd, 2017, between the West Islip Union Free School District and the West Islip Teacher <coughs> Association? So moved. 
Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Can I have a motion for the approval of the building emergency response plans? Second. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And can I have a motion for the approval of the Winkler Amendment to Contract? Second. Discussion? Uh, this is a one-year uh, uh, extension uh, with the same terms as previous. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Burns. Uh, I'd just like to remind everyone that the district is closed tomorrow as we observe Veterans Day and pay tribute to all of the men and women who have fought in our battles in defense of our democratic principles that we all enjoy today. We may not always agree, but we certainly have the right to express them. So to them, I say thank you to all of our veterans. Have a good weekend. Thank you, Mrs. Burns. Okay, um, for anybody that doesn't know, uh, our uh, football team has uh, advanced to the um, quarterfinals. Semi. Semi. Semi, my bad. We were victorious in the quarters. Uh, uh, last weekend with a uh, resounding victory over Newfield. And um, we'll be playing this Saturday. There were plenty of seats available, so um, come on out. Cheer on the, uh, the home team. Okay, anybody have anything else? No? All right. Any members of the public wishing to speak? No? Okay. May I have a motion to adjourn to executive session where we may discuss personnel, negotiations, and litigation. At the conclusion of executive session, the board will reconvene to public session in the district office board to consider any items for which a vote is required. Of course, all members of the public are welcome to attend the public session. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you all for uh, joining us tonight. Enjoy your weekend.